Today is February 17th and I have neglected to record anything that's going on but I am actually at retreat we actually came yesterday morning and we have been here approximately 24 hours and just been really busy things are going on I'm actually getting ready to teach a workshop so let me show you what I am going to teach so we are working on this little quilt here that uses scrap two and one <laughs> scrap two and one half inch strips and a background fabric. So I will be teaching that in just a bit. Um, let me just turn you around and show you what's going on in the room otherwise. So I am working on my on Ringo Lake quilt. These rows are not sewn together yet. I still have this seam to add to here and then to this seam. So this is what I have stitched since I've been here. And I hope that I can get these two more rows done in the middle and then I'll just have this corner part to finish at home. That's my goal, hopefully with teaching. Time is not my own. So, oh, also we made some bags and I will show you those doing show and tell we made uh, what's called market bags and so I'm the only one in the room right now everyone is at breakfast but I thought that I would just give you a quick view of the room we got some projects laying out here so we'll see how far they get with their particular projects Lots of blocks up there for that. She's making this quilt here. Got more piecing going on there. Got a bag here. Another bag's over there. So we did the bag last night. It was our Friday night project. It's normally something very quick. Got um, some piecing here. She has pieced these blocks into a quilt top. So, yes, lots going on. Hi, it's T. It is actually Sunday morning, 2.15 a.m. And I am the only one that's up for a retreat. My cohort, who normally comes to retreat with me and we do an all-nighter, had a family emergency and couldn't come. So I am the only one that's here. But um, having a good, re I'm having a great retreat. I taught a class, I made two bags and I'm almost finished with the On Ringo Lake quilt from Bonnie Hunter's Mystery. I've worked on that most of the retreat. So later today we're going to have show and tell and I will show you photos of that. I'll insert the pictures and I hope you enjoy it. But I will see you later. Bye bye.
Hey, it's T with T Quilts, and I am here to do a haul from Quilt Retreat. My big quilting gal had their retreat over the weekend. I actually presented the main project on Saturday, as well as I did a line dancing breakout session for exercise. And I just wanted to show you some of the items that we received as door prizes. Now, this one wasn't necessarily a door prize, but th these are the pencils that I like to use. And one of the ladies didn't like them. She had three or four boxes of them, and she was just handing them out. So I got one of those from her. Our name tags were really pretty. They used recycled tape measures to make our name tags with. I thought they were really pretty. And it's not quite so obvious that it's a name tag when you first look at it. This here, I have no idea what it is and what we do with it, but we have it. It's something that's crocheted. I don't know where this would sit, if it would sit under a spool of thread, but it seems a little puffy for that. So I'm not quite sure, but you can use it to tag something to make sure you know it's yours. It's, a, um, you know, they were all different coloring. And this is a chapstick holder that you can put on your keychain. I'm sure you could also put any thumb drives in here if you wanted to use it that way as well. But they put CarMax in here. We have another thing that you can use to identify your items with. You can put this either around your cords when you wrap them to keep them concealed or you can put it around the handle of your sewing machine and that way you'll know that it's your sewing machine and you're not picking up someone else's we got a tape measure we always seem to get these you can get these donated pretty easily i'm just seeing how far it goes so it actually goes to 60 inches and then it can also be put on a keychain. We received a couple of pieces of from a fabric. They cut out labels and then they gave everyone one. And then we also got one that was printed with some sort of a quilting quote. We actually got to pick those out. And they gave us a paint chip that they stamp something on. And I'm just assuming that we're using these as bookmarks. Very pretty. And then we have a scissor fob. So we have the hook to hook into your scissors. Very nice. That I also is something used to mark your items. And... This is a basket that they gave us, a nice little wire basket. You can do whatever with even has a handle on it. And then they took the time to wrap fabric around it to give it some decorations. And added a little laminated card on it as well. So I thought those were pretty cool. So, let me put all of this back in here. I just got a couple more items. So, other gift they gave us was a fabric pop. And that's really cute. Just rolled up a fat quarter. Put it on, put a stick in it. And then every year we take a picture as a group. And this year they decided to give us a little photo album so we can if you take more pictures or you can download pictures that others have taken and you can put them into a photo album so you'll have your own photos and so it's empty other than the photo that we took as a group and we had door prize drawing and i actually won a door prize drawing it was it was a few items up there i chose this basket because it had the compartments i'm always needing to be more organized and then the fabrics that you see in here someone was working on a project where they were sewing the flip corners and they were throwing all of these away so i took those and i have chain pieced these already while i was at retreat and then over here 
this is some fabric scraps that one of the ladies gave me so yes so that is it for this haul i'll put both of my little units up here but i had a great time at retreat and my next retreat is not until may of this year so i will record that for you and share that experience with you as well other videos recording quilting road trips would be paducah in april i'm actually going on friday i will also be in illinois but i'm forgetting which county i will be in I'm actually doing a lecture and a workshop. So I will post that information in the box. If you're interested and you're close to that area, please sign up to attend. I'll leave all information in the description box. So that's it for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.